Hello, everyone. I'm Ray Canaveri, and welcome to another edition of SMU Soccer Insider. What a ride it has been for the SMU men's team through non-conference play as they had some really big wins, the Virginia 5-1 decision, and then they close out the non-conference portion of their schedule with a 3-2 overtime decision against Oral Roberts. Now Conference USA play begins, and what a way to start. They get Tulsa first up on Friday night, and I had an opportunity to talk to Coach Shellis Hyman, get his thoughts about the team as it heads into conference play. Yeah, there is. You know, uh, uh, I, th I think the majority of the team is returning players, and we're happy with that. You know, we still have quite a few players banged up. Um, we've got Paulo going in for surgery next week, and then we've got a couple other players that are hurt uh, uh, that are probably going to need surgery as well. So we're, we're going with some younger players, some new players. Um, you know, uh, Keoki and Keikola, the two boys that we have from Hawaii, I thought did extremely well. And uh, I was pleased with, uh, with uh, the guys coming off the bench. You know, Geppert scored his first goal. He, um, he's had ACL and, and sports hernia surgery this past year. So it was good to see him back on the field. And I think we got some young players like, like uh, Pana who's learning uh, and, and contributing. The win over Oral Roberts was one that really gave the fans their money's worth. Let's go to the highlights. The two teams played to a scoreless first half, and it wasn't until the 66th minute before SMU finally got on the board. It wasn't the prettiest goal of all time, or at least didn't start out that way, but it eventually found the foot of Bruno Guarda, who was able to lay it off to Danny Saintis, who tucked it home for the SMU lead. The lead wouldn't last long for SMU. Matter of fact, less than two minutes later, Oral Roberts made it level at one on a loose ball inside the box. Tommy Appich put it to the back of the net, and it was SMU one, Oral Roberts one. It truly was a back and forth game as less than five minutes later, SMU would reclaim the lead on Scott Geppert's first goal of the year, and what a head ball it was off the corner kick. However, Oral Roberts would not go away as they leveled the match at two, as Jacob Schmoker took the ball at the top of the box, went upper 90, and leveled the match at two. The match would end level at two and go to overtime. SMU would put the final nail in the coffin as a handball called inside the box would give the Mustangs a penalty kick. Bruno Guarda stepped up 12 yards away from frame, picked his corner, and coolly stepped up and deposited it in the back of the net to give SMU the victory. SMU head coach Shellis Heinemann talks about the win over Centenary and then the dramatic win over Oral Roberts. Yeah, it was uh, yeah, exactly right. The game with Centenary was also interesting because we gave up a, a soft goal uh, early in the game for probably the first two minutes of the game. And then we came back and tied and then took a 2-1 lead and came back in the second half and played well. Or Roberts, a little bit different team, you know, very, uh, very international flavored. Uh, a lot of players from Bolivia, Taiwichi Academy, uh, players from Jamaica, players from uh, Honduras, where, Guatemala City, you know, so, so forth. So a lot of skilled players and they were very focused. And we really didn't have a lot of recovery time. We played Thursday night, Saturday night. Well, they didn't play till the previous uh, weekend. So um, it took a little bit of us by surprise, but at the same time, uh, we did go overtime, and it showed a lot of confidence in the players to come away with a win. One thing that struck it doesn't matter what sport you're talking about. You need a good assistant coach, and there may be no better in the country than SMU's Tim McClements. He's been with the club a few years now, and I got his opinion on the team as they head into conference play. Well, you know, I think that uh, we got off to a great start, got out of the gates uh, with two wins on our, uh, you know, uh, in our Mi Casina tournament. And then the next weekend we played uh, in New Mexico, played UCSB in Washington, and we took some injuries against UCSB, uh, you know, losing three out of our four backs in the first uh, 45 minutes. We still haven't recovered fully from that, but, uh, you know, working day in and day out, it's given a lot of our younger players an opportunity to step up and, uh, and do a good job. Um, you know, Chad Bauman has stepped in and played uh, a lot of minutes, more than we expected as a center back, as a freshman, has done a great job. And uh, Patrick Landeni has also done well. And then we've had guys fill in that, uh, that, uh, that are just carrying a load until we get our injured players back. As for opening up Conference USA play against Tulsa, 
Yeah, well, I mean, it's a rivalry. I mean, there's nothing. Uh, I mean, everybody knows that they're going to be. Uh, they're a strong team, uh, but you know, I think you you look at the teams on paper and you can throw all that out the window because it's a conference game and it's a rival, a rivalry, and and they always play us tough. Freshman forward slash midfielder Walberto Vasquez understands how important it is to play well now that conference play is here. This is, a, this is a stage where we need to start perfecting and start getting those important wins to win the conference championship and get the seed in the tournament. It all gets underway this Friday night. SMU will take on Tulsa to start out Conference USA play. When the end of the season is done, don't be surprised if SMU makes the Final Four, and who knows, this very well may be the year that SMU takes home the national championship. This has been another edition of SMU Soccer Insider. Until next time, I'm Ray Canaveri saying so long, everyone. <laughs>